Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Today we are doing something probably different to a lot of you, a Greek wine. Kritikos, which uh, means originating in Crete, which is the southernmost largest island of Greece. Okay, And the winemaker is right here. Okay, Butera. Buteri. Um, they have 17 acres in Crete. But they're one of the bigger winemakers in Greece. And they use, for this particular wine, it's a red wine, two indigenous grapes, which is kind of cool because most people have probably not had indigenous grapes to Greece and to Crete. Okay. So the first one, um, called Cephali, called Cephali, and it's 60%. And the other one is, and they've made it so you can, you know, sound it out. Mandalorera. Mandalorea. All right? Mandalorea. And these two go great together. I did some research on them and they complement each other. What one doesn't have in structure and, 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 and sugar content and everything else. The other one bounces it out. And, and so it's a lot of the wines are made that uh, from these two grapes. Now, the Greeks have figured this out. They have been making wine a long 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 time so let's see if this is going to be a cool one for thanksgiving or for whenever uh now they say it goes well with sharp cheeses pasta and roasts um so i always looking for stuff that's different that we can bring to like someone's house or if you're hosting something and um you know just have something to where people are maybe never had it it's exciting to try um you know because wine should be fun and exciting, and so something different is always, um, you know, something I'm always looking for. Instead of bringing the same old stuff over, right? See if anybody's had one of the birth one of the birth places of wine is Greece, <laughs> right? I mean, it doesn't get any older than that. So I'm going to decant this because uh, I'm not sure what to expect. This is a 2014. I don't know if I showed you. Uh, if I didn't, know, shame on me. So it's got kind of like an old Greek um, painting. There's some stuff. I got my hack on the back. I twelve. I paid twelve ninety nine for it. Great price. I just washed out my uh, the canner. So let's uh, let's decan it. Let's let it do it rough. Let's let it fan out. Get some air, right? There it is. Look at it. Kind of a cool color. Kind of a red, a brick red. So, oh, I smell it from here coming up out of that. Nice, exciting, All right? So we got to get out of our comfort zone sometimes. And this is a, a easy to find wine. I don't believe this would be hard for you all to find. Um, if you want to try it, try something different. Try something interesting. Try something you never had before. There are over fifty thousand grapes. I think if you tried a different grape every day wine made from different grape every day, it would take you 27 years to taste them all. But there's only ooh, so many that are basically good that wine's basically made from, and I can't remember how many that is, maybe several thousand, four thousand, enough to where it would take you maybe four years if you tried one every day to taste them all, but that would be fun, and that's doable over maybe 10 years. All right. Wow, what a different smell. Interesting. First of all, it's like a mix of several types of cherries. Maybe all kinds of crushed red fruit in there. Maybe red cherry, mainly black cherries, red cherries, raspberries, maybe strawberries, all mixed into a puree. Mmm. Very nice, very odd, very different, even though I'm, I like what cherries are, but that, that combination somehow. And like exotic cherries, maybe Croatian cherries or something, I, I don't know. Just the slightest tint of, of earthiness and maybe spiciness mixed in. I'll, I like it, it's a very different and a very 
pleasing smell. I hope it tastes as well. So I've never had these grapes before. It's kind of a tart cherry. Again, a mixture of cherries, raspberries, strawberries. A little tart. It's dry, but very fruity with those fruits, mainly cherry, but a mix of cherries, different cherries. Um, from tart, red, sweet, black, maraschino, all those cherries mixed in together with a little tartness from some strawberries and some raspberries um, with a little uh, a tannin, I can feel it, a um, little drying out. Finish is not long. Um, once you swallow it, it kind of goes away. But I can feel the dryness of it. Um, but it's not overpowering and it would benefit from um, I decanted it, and you saw that, and I did it rough on purpose to let it air out. Now, it would be good to pour the whole bottle in there, let it hit the side, fan out, and um, and let it sit, not for the minute or two that I let it sit, but maybe um, 20 minutes to half an hour to really knock down those tannins and blend everything together. Uh, but overall, it's, it's not um, powerful like a big Cabernet. It's more like a... Um, Softer, a little more light, in my opinion, like a Merlot or a Pinot Noir. Now, this is 2014. So it's six years old. So that's helped soften it. You know, it's been getting some micro wear through the cork for six years. Uh, the alcohol, by the way, is 12.5%. So if you have one that's newer, with these grapes less than six years. Um, you really wanted to can it and, uh, and after it's at least uh, sit out a good half hour, a good half hour in the canner and then pour it rough in the glass. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, after it's to can it, just like that. Don't be gentle with it. And uh, just to totally get it to air and then um, serve it about 60 degrees and uh, let it warm up the glass a little bit. And I think people would enjoy it. It's an easy drinker, like I said, more like a Merlot or a Pinot as far as not the big, bold cap. But it is six years old. So uh, if it's six years or older, you're going to be in better shape. If you've got one that's five and under, maybe, um, you're going to want to decan it. All right. Um, probably for each year that it's under six, I don't know, maybe tw 20 more minutes on top of the 20 minutes. Uh, to where it could be, you could have it sitting at an hour, uh, which isn't going to hurt anything. But that's it. It's got a very unique smell, more of a mild taste. Um, I think what you're selling with this is the uniqueness of it, the fact that it is a Greek wine with grapes indigenous to Greece and to the island of Crete. Uh, it's something different, something people haven't had, and since it's kind of a smooth drinker, it's nothing that's, you know, someone who, who likes big heavy reds and, and um, you know, cabs or whatever could, could still enjoy this. Uh, but it also goes down to a more mild flavor for someone who likes maybe more of the uh, uh, Merlots and the, um, you know, uh, Pinots. So, that's my review of it. Um, not a bad sipper. I think I will make now because of this here. I will make some um, pasta tonight to go with it. With a, um, I think what I'm gonna do uh, with my sauce. Uh, if I have some red sauce in there, I'll use it. Uh, I have some that some sausage was cooked in. It'll be all right with this. If I don't, I'm just gonna toss it with um, some oregano and some olive oil and some red pepper and some Parmesan cheese. And that's gonna be my uh, topping for my, my pasta. And this is gonna go good with it. So I'm excited to, uh, to have this with that. So uh, yeah, 
uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out my playlist. Okay, this is going to be under the wine, red wine one, which I'll have I'll have attached to this. But I have so many playlists and everything broken down for you to check it out. Not only within wines and countries and varietals and all like that, that you can check out. But my coffees, my teas, right? My uh, spirits uh, of every type. So it's uh, my beers, all things you're going to want to check out. And it's easy to follow that playlist. And uh, it's broken down real nice for you. I want to show you one more time that label. There it is. All right. Very, very uh, interesting, and nothing much uh, real cork, uh, just with the name of the uh, winery on it. All right, everybody, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you on the next one.